SeaWorld has many secrets. Former Vice President of SeaWorld, Dr. Lanny Cornell, has just submitted affidavits about the regular practice of dosing the whales with Valium, Xanax, and Benzodiazepine for a press release April 3rd, 2014, in an attempt to control, quote, aggressive behavior, unquote. After the death of former senior trainer Don Bronchot, over 30 other incidents, including other trainer deaths, have been uncovered and are now under investigation. SeaWorld's corporate founder and former owner, Anheuser-Busch, the beer makers, sold SeaWorld in the mid-2000s. It is now a public stock under the scrutiny of OSHA regulations after this last tragedy. Their claims of positive reinforcement and well-being of the animals as their highest priority are lies. Research reveals part of the training staff's duties are to masturbate their male orca tilicum on a regular basis with a gloved hand, collecting the semen for the park's artificial insemination program. His agonizing existence of life in the isolation tank, social deprivation, drugged and inappropriately handled is the sum of his present day health since he is no longer considered a reliable performer. Tillicum's present health isn't good. He is overweight, chronically dehydrated, and suffers many other serious physiological and psychological maladies. It's the final straw as the crisis hits the park and more truth about SeaWorld's practices emerge. Reports of removing the killer whale's teeth with power drills is another allegation. The immense physical, emotional, and psychological trauma in captivity cannot be comprehended because the human brain simply is not developed as well as these orca minds. Their lobes are more developed in many regions, and their socio-emotional capacities are simply incomprehensible to man. Their family group members never leave their social pods, ever. A current California bill nicknamed Blackfish Bill is underway to outlaw orca captivity completely and absolutely in that state. It is predicted to pass through. Meanwhile, SeaWorld's mismatched, life without parole, marine slaves are pumped full of psychotropic drugs in order to force them to perform stupid tricks for humans and their kids at the Big Dollar theme park. After the release of Blackfish, the park has been hit with cancellations and aggressive campaigns. Ironically, should SeaWorld executives be found guilty spending time in our prison system, they would experience luxurious accommodations compared to what they make these highly social, extremely intelligent marine animals endure. These orcas suffer permanent neurosis, gnashing their own teeth down in nubs, and ultimately attacking their trainers. Sadly, only then gaining the public's attention to their morally unacceptable plight. Please, be sure not to visit or invest in SeaWorld, and do your part to educate and proact in effort to stop this unethical treatment of our planet's majestic ocean orcas.